Hey, what's going on folks? Forest Screen here. I know it's been a while. Quite a while. But today I have a power scaling video to showcase to you today. Um, a viewer, I think his name's Mighty Ace. He liked my um, Gil uh, power scaling video. And I wanted to do the Chung Li power scaling video. Uh, I was going to just leave this until... Um, we got the final chapter of uh, Street Fighter 5 so we, so I could wait for more potential feats but that's just taking too long so today I thought I'd make this power scaling video and of course big shout out to Corin O'Keefe for sending me some screenshots um, and some information on Chung Li very important uh, big shout out to him make sure you check his channel out but today I'm gonna go over Chung Li I'm going to go for her attack potency, durability, her speed, and her skills. And of course, anything else that I need to cover. So, yes. Starting off with her attack potency, Chung Li is easily around small town level plus. She's a little over uh, small town level. There is an impressive feat she performs in Street Fighter 4, where she is fighting Bison. And she performs a giant Kikosho on Bison. And it was it created a large crater, and uh, thanks to the calculations as well. I'll link all this in the description if you want to see calcs and stuff. It was calced and cal it was calced to be around small town level plus. Her massive uh, giant Kikosho, and of course, this pissed off Bison when Bison got tagged by the giant Kikosho. He ended up doing a he ended up getting getting very annoyed and created a bigger crater um, than Chung Li's. So yeah, uh, attack potency wise she's easily around small town level plus or you can just say town level if you want a high ball. So yeah, pretty much that's pretty much it for the attack potency. So I'm gonna go on with the durability pretty much the same thing. She's got uh, small town level plus dur durability. Again she was able to tank her own giant Kikosho while she was blasting Bison with it and ended up um, hurting Bison and pissing him off. Speed, she is easily around uh, supersonic speed so she's a bullet timer. Um, there's some ways to scale this so the first one I, ha I will leave a link in the description this is to go over this is like the official uh, signature moves for Guile. Guile's sonic boom it's even stated that he breaks the speed barrier, so that's easily Mach 1, so that's easy like, uh, again, that's like, you know, the speed of sound. Um, Bison, again, another scaling as well, because Gaal goes up against Bison, and Bison was able to dodge this same sonic boom. And this is the same Bison that tangled with Chung Li, and Chung Li was able to tag, tag him with the giant Kikosho. And if that's not enough information, I have more scaling as well. Uh, during the Alpha series, Chung Li was going up against these grunts and was beating the fuck out of them. Um, they, one of the grunts was armed with a pistol and was firing towards Chung Li and Chung Li was able to dodge those bullets. So pretty much she's a bullet timer, supersonic reaction speed and that's pretty much it for her speed. Unfortunately, Street Fighter characters just don't have a lot of speed feats. Uh, their speed feats kind of suck. Um, that's why I'm hoping, you know, we get some more buffs in the later, you know, issues, uh, iterations of Street Fighter. So that's pretty much it for the main, uh, you know, the main important stats. So, in terms of hacks, Chun Li doesn't really have any hacks. I'm afraid she's more focused on her fighting style and her chi so she, she so she has like chi manipulation so she can amplify her attacks using uh, the chi so again she can fire kikoken she can fire a kikoken which is a small heap energy blast from her hand she can uh, charge up and hit her opponent with a giant kikosho which is an amplified version of the kikoken she could also um, which is shown in the games. Uh, she can use chi manipulation to amp her, amp her physical attacks. Um, 
especially her signature martial arts uh, attacks and abilities and signature moves such as the spinning bird kick which is one of her trademark attacks uh, the hiyakiyaku I think it's called where she her lightning kicks where she attacks really fast with her legs uh, she also has the hasenchu where she performs like a weird um, like a weird leg um, flip like like a it's kind of like a leg back flip but she pretty much uses her leg as an axe to slam it slam to slam her leg on her opponent's uh, head um, she's able to kind of like she she can't glide in the air but she's able to propel herself in the air pretty uh, you know she has she has pretty uh, she has like good acrobatic skills I should I sh as I should say so she's able to uh, manipulate um, she's able to like manipulate the the environment very well which makes Chung Lee very formidable um, she's proven time and time and again that she can go up against characters even though some of them are slightly stronger than her she's able to um, tango with them and she's able she's proven many times that she's very skillful in her nature so that's pretty much it for the video for Chung Lee attack potency small town level plus same as durability she's a, she's a bullet timer she has incredible martial arts skills again uh, her, again she has her lightning legs where she can kick them very fast her, her senchu her um, spinning bird kick she has she has a, a kikokan and her giant kikosho which you can fire very easily and that's pretty much it folks i hope you folks enjoyed this video i know it's been a while but i'm glad you enjoyed this power scaling video please if you enjoyed leave a like any anything i missed in this video just hit me up in the comment section let me hear your thoughts and opinions but yes folks this is forest green signing out peace